Do you remember early 2000s uh -huh. when Beyonce and her backup singers oh, honey. sang that hit song? I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna work harder. What was that? When she wrote that song, she wrote it about these plants I'm about to talk about. Because these plants are survivors. These plants have such a strong will to live, regardless of the obstacles. They're like, I'm a survivor. You cannot kill me. Could you please stop? Thank you. The first plant on this list, the name itself is like a dead giveaway. It's your cast iron plant. This plant has made an appearance on several of my videos and for good reason, because when you hear that a plant is named cast iron or is named after a cast iron skillet that should imply that the plant is just as indestructible and it goes without saying that this is truly 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 an indestructible plant there are moments in my life i have to stop and i look at this plant and i ask is this an actual plant or is this a living organism <laughs> because this plant truly takes neglect and just chills i have gone weeks without watering this plant on several locations i have kept this plant in like pitch darkness i have pretty much treated this plant this particular specimen as you see i've treated her like trash for two years i only just started recently taking care of her but the point is she survived she's a survivor she's not gonna give up so yes, this is a plant that is tough. I don't think I know of anyone that has unalived a cast iron plant. And if you have, um, that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, this plant is extremely hardy, tough as nails, and I could not start this video without including this mamacita. All right? Okay, babes, this next plant I actually do not have. But as somebody who offers both in-person and virtual consultation services, I have encountered this plant in my customers or clients' houses. And it is the one plant that they subject to all manner of things, but it still hangs in there. Like, it looks like a hot mess, but it still hangs in there. Babes, it is the Lucky Bam. Boo. And by lucky bamboo, I mean specifically the ones grown in water. I have met clients that the last time they changed the water in their jars has been months. So the plant is pretty barely even growing in water. And it's pretty much growing in an algae cesspool. Oh my God. But the plant is still hanging in there. It looks like a hot mess, but it is still alive. I've met clients that have kept theirs in like the darkest of corners in their dark bathrooms, away from light, away from ventilation. But it is still alive. Like, I've honestly just come to the conclusion that that plant just does not want to pass away. And it is one plant I usually strongly recommend to clients or people that are just looking for a decorative life plant. They're not looking for something that is potentially going to thrive. They're just looking for something that is alive and inanimate. Lucky bamboo yes this next plan comes from a genus that has broken so many hearts a genus that has scarred so many people like it's a, a genus of plants that are generally cute and they look innocent but every one that has bought a plant from this genus has probably lost several of them but for some strange reason this one is as tough as nails Without much ado, babes, is the Peperomia up to Sophia? <gasps> yes, I know Peperomias have scarred you. I know Peperomias have broken your heart. But this girly, this your basic, classic, the most common Peperomia you ever encounter, this mama is tough. This mama is tough. Like, like there are times I literally forget and i'm not not even i'm not even being dramatic but i forget i own this plant like literally i just remember that, I, that this plant existed in my collection maybe like two weeks ago it was dumped somewhere and i literally forgot that the plant was even still in existence and babes is still hanging in there she's even flowering look at the flower 
So this is definitely one of those plants that um, is tough as nails. She's a resilient girly. And I've even come to realize that she doesn't even need a ton of light because where I kept her or do outdoors was like in a place where she, I didn't feel like she was getting optimal light. Yet she was, she was, she was still alive. She was still alive and she is still alive. Peperomia optosophoria. She's definitely the hardiest of all the other peperomias I've ever grown in my care. And in my opinion, she's a survivor. She's not going to give up. She's not going to stop. She's going to work harder. This next plant will leave some of the girlies shook at. Because it it's from a genus of plant that has a reputation of being divas, of being problematic, of being notorious. But I wouldn't be completely honest with you if I didn't include this plant in this list, babes. Because even though she comes from a problematic family, she's not like the other girlies in her family, you know? She's different. She's mindful. She's demure. Without much ado, babes. It's the Calathea Network, babes. Yes, I know you're clutching your pearls at this very moment, but this auntie here, sometimes I ask myself, are you really Calathea? Did they make a mistake? Did they, did, they, did they classify you in the wrong genus? Because this babe is extremely hardy and, you know, and takes neglect like a champ. Unlike other plants in her genus that will not take neglect at the slightest, they'll start having that very annoying browning tips and, you know, just start looking like a hot mess. This one can go a fair amount taking neglect. Sometimes, you know, and you're going to hear this a lot often in this video, I forget that this plant exists. That seems to be the only challenge I have with these plants is that they are so non-problematic that you can forget that they actually exist. And with this plant, that happens to be the case. Sometimes I forget she's there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, gracious, I haven't watered this auntie in three years. Three years in the stretch. But I haven't watered her in a while. And she's still hanging in there. She's still alive. She's, still, she's a survivor. She's not going to give up. If you've been scarred by Calathea's Give this auntie a try. She's known for C. I pretty much just tap water with this plant and she's still hanging in there. So she's a survivor and she's not going to give up. Yeah. This next plant is going to come with like a bonus plant. And, and you see what I mean. And in fact, it's even living proof that these two are indeed tough as nails. Hang on. Babes, you know I could not make this list without including a snake plant. Like, specifically this snake plant here. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so beautiful. I love snake plants. I could actually talk about snake plants all day. But I'm going to calm myself and focus on the point at hand. This snake plant here. The Santavera honey. Babes, this is my longest leaf snake plant. I've had this snake plant for about four years. And this was a snake plant that started the whole snake plant obsession. I love snake plants, by the way. But, you know, the point at hand, yes. This baby is tough. This baby is tough. There are times I even forget to water this plant. Like, I can't honestly remember. I can't count. Or rather, I can count the amount of times I actually watered this plant so far this year maybe three four times honestly and it just at this point it doesn't even have anywhere to grow so i would definitely say this particular snake plant most snake plants are hardy but this girly the sansevera honey whatever you want to call her in my experience in my opinion she's the ultimate survivor of them all she's the survivor of them all and as a bonus Oh my God, what is that? We have to talk about this. This Calathea, I don't know what Calathea this is, babes. I just know it as a local Calathea. That's what we call it here in Nigeria. Because she is locally available. She's one of the cheapest Calatheas you ever get. And she's a tough girl. I suspect the Calathea Lep Lepordini or whatever you want to call it. This mama here is tough. 
To give you an example, it is growing in the same pot as a snake plant and in a terracotta pot. Just to give you an example of how tough and resilient this particular plant is. In fact, I once had a full pot of this, but I threw it away because to me it was just a weed. I didn't like it. And then I saw that it had somehow just magically appeared here. And it has been here for months, babes. Months. And I, I don't do anything to it. So yes, even though the Calathea is a genus that is difficult, you know, on average, we have some in that family that are just tough as nails. They are survivors. They are survivors. Yeah, it, I would I rec definitely recommend this Calathea. If you happen to be able to ID it, please go for this Calathea. This is indisputable proof that this is a tough Calathea. These two definitely are survivors. <laughs> so, babes, I am sweating like a Christmas goat, as we see in this part of the world. So, the next plant is behind me. I do not have the energy to pick her up, so we're just going to go down to where she is so we can have a better look. Let's go. Babes, I surely could not round up this video without mentioning this auntie here because she is the true definition of being a survivor to the point that she even becomes a nuisance in your life. This is a philodendron broiler mat. Like I have said when talking about this plant, this plant is a weed is considered a weed in most outdoor gardens in this part of the world like she can easily take over your garden and she can easily you know lead to an infestation of your garden and your other plants so generally i have kept her contained in soil and in this pot and i haven't reported her in two to three years at this point you know I barely fertilized i've just done everything i can to keep her contained and from becoming a nuisance in my garden basically and she is just hanging in there and doing her thing so this is a plant that i subject to extreme neglect sis just won't die sis no matter what i try to her sis just won't, won't die so yes i i do have to give her credit for being indeed a survivor indeed a survivor yeah so yeah Anyways, guys, we have come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked it. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Have you ever grown any one of these plants before? What has been your experience? You know, just let's continue this conversation in the comment section as usual and I'll see you there and I'll also see you in the next video. But for now, bye-bye.